Virgo, what's cracking, family? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. <clears throat> Welcome to your reading. This will be a general reading for the sign of Virgo, wherever that resonates at in your chart. Keep in mind, y'all, we all have a sixth house. We all have Virgo in our chart somewhere. Um, only take what resonates. Leave the rest for someone else. You guys, these readings are timeless. So I trust and believe that whenever you come across this reading, whenever you stumble across this reading, there will be a message here for you. Nothing happens by accident. Virgo, um, again, so take what resonates, leave the rest, um, tapping into your energy. A lot was coming through for you, Virgo. And that being said, I just want to point out the fact that we have this shadow work card at the bottom of the deck and I was guided to reshuffle. So there's a message in that. Um, but I also got a couple visions uh tapping into your energy um virgo i feel like you're going through a major transformation right now i feel like you're either coming out of a major transformation or you're in the midst of a big shift right now okay a couple messages um coming through that being said i i saw a vision of you virgo sitting uh, uh, all alone right in like a cave or some type of place like that you were alone and what i saw was all of these like energetic cords emanating coming off of like like worms like crawling out of you for lack of a better term for lack of a better way of explaining it and what i saw was i saw you connecting to other people in the collective but it wasn't like you're verbally connecting or you're physically connecting with people what i saw um was like sort of like the divine connecting you to others in the 5d on the astral realm um in order to help you into this next chapter or or sort of like bringing new soul family members in uh to your energy and then i saw a vision of you on a mountain Mount Kailash, don't tell me how I knew that. I've never been there, um, but it was in my spirit that you were on Mount Kailash and there you were at the top of the mountain, Virgo, and there was people climbing up the mountain way down at the bottom. And I, what I saw was I saw you like throw out a rope of energetic cords, Virgo, and I saw people grabbing onto them and it was like you were helping them up this mountain and then what came into my spirit was um this mountain isn't for everybody and so what i was getting from that was um maybe you can help somebody virgo on their path or maybe you are without even knowing it and then also what i was getting from that was this path is not for everybody um right now spirituality is sort of like it's in right uh, it's the in thing to do and what I was getting from that is that you're gonna start seeing the fakes <laughs> fall off you're gonna start seeing people that looked like they were spiritual or or that were you know pretending to be something that they weren't you're gonna start seeing them fall back down the mountain okay I don't know who that message is for um, hope them wish them the best on their fall you know this 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 path is not for everybody during this lifetime, right? But it is for everybody at some point in time. Time doesn't even exist. So let's get it. Tapping into your energy. First of all, we've got this entropy card. So the death of an old version of you, Virgo. Um, a transformation here. You're shedding old skin. You're tapping into this new version of yourself, right? Um, sort of, I feel like you're watering the seeds right now to with the train for confirmation to have this beautiful abundant harvest right um this lotus flower growing through the mud through the bs through the thick of it um and rising above so so much so that when you bloom here you're not even going to be touching the old muddy waters right okay so that's a message for somebody somebody's been through my, <laughs> some some things right um and spirit wants you to know that it's in no way going to have any effect on your future. You're going to bloom and blossom into this beautiful version of yourself, right? We've got to go into the darkness, Virgo, to get to the light. We have to go into the womb, the cosmic womb, right? To be buried under the ground, right? You dig me? 
picking up what I'm putting down in order to get to the light and be nourished so right now i really feel as if it's a time for you to give yourself some time virgo to go within the cave of your heart um to nourish yourself make sure you're getting plenty of sleep plenty of rest plenty of drinking water um eating a nice light healthy diet right now um, and taking care of your temple as you sort of shift your energies right as we go through these energetic shifts our body our physical body our vessel needs to catch up so make sure you are giving yourself time okay virgo um, let's jump into this tarot see what this shadow works all about i do feel as if this shadow work card is in the sphere of relationships so i feel like this is a, a big part of where you're transforming at the worst of the storm is over spirit is saying right we're almost to the shore so like i said this message keeps coming through to make sure you're taking care of yourself to make sure you're watering these good seeds all right virgo mother father divine holy spirit of the most high god messages for my beautiful virgo collective um messages for my virgo placements to help empower them to help bring them clarity anything my virgos need to hear right now don't think about this last cycle don't overthink it don't let your mental space keep you stuck all right any messages to help align my virgos be greatly appreciated spirit thank you so much uh in the recent past what do we have sheesh yeah, so there is some some emotional turbulence coming through here in your recent past. I'm going to grab the rest of these cards and we'll dive into this. What do we have? Can I get one more for the recent past? Thank you, Spirit. Wow. Currently, whoop, whoop. Wow. Just clarification. Thank you, Spirit. Wow. Okay, and incoming. Dude, my Virgos, I just want to give y'all a hug. What do we have here? Okay, okay, then. Okay, then. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. On the bottom of the deck, the Eight of Pentacles. So this is something that you may not see is you're really leveling up in a big way here, Virgo, as you go through these shakeups, these breakups, these sort of turbulent times, all right? In the recent past, I'm seeing you being the bad mamma jamma that you are, Virgo staying strong keeping it pushing and really aligning to your path of destiny here um putting your pride to the side right and keeping yourself in check as you do what's best for you is exactly how it's coming through i see somebody betrayed you somebody hurt you somebody did you wrong um virgo somebody got down on you and i see that this was a very prominent energy this pain here this heartbreak was very was coming up to the surface really heavily here in your recent past um but what i see is i see you again staying strong protecting your energy keeping it pushing and there is these mountains and these pyramids you guys look at you're literally at the top of this mountain so you've made it i want spirit wants you to know that you've made it right you've reached a precipice a peak um the end of an old cycle right you've made it um this is going to be a time of really and this is in your current energy going within virgo as you're in in this in between period of time between these cycles and pulling these swords out right so to speak this would be that shadow work um but what i feel for you virgo is it's really going to be important to look at these situations for what they were on an energetic level what did you learn from them what were you able to take from them how did they help you climb uh how did they help you on your climb now that you've reached the top here and you're overlooking the path that you took on the way up how did these situations help you how did these betrayals these breakups these shakeups help you and really give yourself the love that you deserve virgo as you pull this all together as you sort of rise from the dead so to speak with this ten of swords into this new version of yourself into this new cycle into this new you and that's exactly what i see you doing currently with the temperance this is a message of patience and transmutation virgo as you balance these as you 
pour this water from one cup to another as you mix it up and make your elixir, so to speak, right? There's a message coming through about taking care of yourself very prominently, meditation, um, and trying as hard as you can not to dwell on the past. And if we're looking at the past, Virgo, it's really going to be about how can we turn how can we turn water into wine? How did we learn and how do we grow through this of oh, this person wouldn't have did me dirty that i would have never learned this or if i would have never broken up with this person i'd still be in this situation or whatever however it resonates for you there are angels angelic energies i'm actually seeing a lot of orbs right now that just started appearing and so call on your angels as you work through this ask archangel gabriel for the healing right? Archangel Michael for the protection and guidance. Call your angels in. I will link that video above um, if you haven't checked it out already. But you are very much so working through this beautiful uh, transformation right now. And you are really rising above Virgo and coming into this, the beautiful energy um, that you are meant to embody. In your incoming energy, whoop, there's that divine wisdom here you are coming into these sacred divine knowings of your soul here you are really embodying all of the lessons and all of the um levels right classes in session right we're in earth school and i see you really embodying that and i see you again at the top of this mountain overlooking it like okay i could have took a shortcut there but i didn't but i still got here and you know i almost slipped and fell right there but i made it up right i made it up virgo congratulations you did make it up and i see this incoming energy for you being very abundant you're coming through as the empress on top of your game healing your heart um, loving and caring for those around you and yourself most importantly and I see you just emanating this very beautiful motherly energy whether you're a male or a female you're emanating this beautiful energy of I got you I got this right C come to mama like you know what I'm saying um, and like I said we all have divine masculine and divine feminine energies within us so take it how it resonates if you want to flip that with the emperor energy then feel free um, and some of my Virgos may even have a love offer coming in your way with this beautiful Gemini energy the lovers card um, you may have and this is definitely like soulmate type energy somebody that'll take care of you and this it for those of you that are worried about a relationship that are looking for a relationship what I'm pulling from this is that it's gonna be a next level relationship so it is going to be so important for you to embody these lessons to embody this past cycle to heal these wounds to heal your heart so you can step into this next level type relationship here where you're both embodying this divine soul level wisdom you're both at a higher vibration and level of consciousness whatever this is whether it is a love offer or whether this is you coming into full union with yourself virgo excuse me here comes the sun okay i see beautiful energy coming in your way and i think the deepest message here or the most prominent message virgo is to continue mastering yourself to continue mastering your craft learning reading those books taking those classes taking those workshops taking that tarot class taking that astrology class taking that painting class taking that music class this is you as you step through this gate into your higher self virgo and you really start embodying this deeper wisdom right so you can truly align with the star coming out on the bottom of the deck right so you truly are closing out a chapter here there's a need for an emotional release for some of you because that may be eclipsing 
these deeper, darker emotions, this pain may be eclipsing this new chapter, right? So it's very important that you work through the shadow, that you work through, that you emotionally release and do the healing, Virgo. So that way you can step through this 1111 with the four of wands. You can step through this gate into this transformation, into your power, Aries energy here with the emperor coming out. So you're taking the reins, you're taking control and you're focusing upwards onwards and upwards at this star this wish upon a star energy here spirit wants you to keep your focus all right even if you are in your cave right now um not reaching out to anybody except energetically spirit really wants you to speak this into existence this new energy, this new cycle, these manifestations, right? Speak it into existence. I am healed. I am love. I am abundant. I am prosperous. I am wise. I am, you know, whatever it may be. Speak it, affirm it. Your words, especially with Mercury ruling Virgo, your words are your power here, Virgo. Yep, so I see it's going to be worth it. All of this strife, all of this conflict, all of this chaos, bringing in this beautiful healing and this beautiful love for my Virgos. And I did see this here when we were shuffling. You are almost to the shore now, family. You can see the shore. The worst of the storm is over and it's time to shift your focus. Stay positive as you can. I'm going to grab us some oracle cards i've got these romance angels and this kali oracle deck as well if anybody wants to take a deeper dive into their situation um book a personal with me hit me up my information is always down below in the description box spirit what do we have in my virgo's heart space right now i see ace of cups i see the lovers out here separation from these old cycles you deserve love you are lovable a lot of my virgos are coming into divine union with your own self you are literally balancing your masculine and feminine energies you're healing your kundalini is rising you are leveling up in a big way tapping into your deeper abilities and gifts your spiritual gifts and abilities codependency so that in forgiving and learning you guys so a lot of my virgos were working through some type this is that shadow work right here working through seeing things for what they really are how am i codependent on people how how did i play a role in this shake up in this breakup in this you know shit show whatever it was and it's going to resonate differently for everybody but this is really about forgiving and learning it says as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments spirit divine mother messages for my virgos here before we tap out what do we have for my virgos come on whoop Although you may be in circumstances that you would rather not be in uh, at this time, you're actually in a position of unrealized spiritual power. You will gain benefit from what is transpiring when the relevant learning and personal growth have been acknowledged and integrated. These circumstances will give way for a more favorable situation. You are forging your authentic path and in support of that, you shall attract great blessings that will benefit all beings to live a spiritual and that's what i saw with that with you throwing those cords down to those at the bottom of the mountain virgo you really are going to be able to help pull people up to lift them up to help them ascend as well um to live a spiritually and creatively self-directed life takes incredible strength and trust in yourself remember that the promise of your sacred success is being fulfilled through every challenge and every blessing trust in what you were born to accomplish and we've also got it takes strength of spirit to not over um 
I'm sorry, it takes strength of spirit not to override inner knowing with social pressures or an inhumane expectation for constant performance. Trust in the shifting cycles to give yourself what you need for your well-being. No being benefits when you're at odds with yourself. You have the inner power and capacity to be at peace within your being now. And that's truly what I was getting at the very beginning virgo go into your cave you are the hermit right the number nine of the tarot right and you are at a number nine energy right now in your path so go into your hermit mode embody it fully stay inside don't get dressed for the day cover up with your blankets meditate right get, make a cup of hot cocoa sit by the fire go outside and take a walk alone right put down your phone for the day virgo and really embody and embrace this healing this beautiful soul level wisdom that spirit has coming your way um and know that you got this you are a lotus flower virgo and this divine sunshine is shining on you and on your path forward there's nothing that needs to be done except doing you all right family i love y'all so much i appreciate y'all tuning in i appreciate all the love and support the likes the comments you guys drop me a comment drop fire sign emoji down below if this resonated um don't forget to smash that thumbs up y'all uh and take a deep breath with me i almost forgot the breath take a deep breath with me let's clear this energy y'all hold it squeeze mula banda raise that energy up out your crown and exhale that bullshit my babies um i love y'all again i hope to see y'all on the next reading